Up wide. This is a good opportunity now. Cutting inside, Dino van Rooyen gets the cross in. And Mavasa might well have made better use of that. You can see very quickly why Dino van Rooyen, since they're missing a little bit uh, on that right-hand side of uh, their attack. Movement by the Holland Pirates. Rossi Borja in particular, who looped around and had the option to uh, slide the ball past to Kim Guido on the side, who maybe was out of balance uh, just before he connected with the shot. It's the only thing that maybe couldn't get right. That's why the ball went sailing over the post. They did, but I guess the pressure from Mzava is what worked. This makeshift winger, here comes the cross inside. Back post chance and a goal! And Magesi have the lead. Basically their first attack, stuck into the back of the net by Evans. Kakori, I think it is. He just said a minute ago, maybe in, his, in the back of his mind, he's saying, look, I'm still here. Yeah, it's the cross. Let's have a look at it again. It was a great little build-up here. Abrams is it, I think, uh, standing on this far side, waiting unnoticed. And maybe uh, Hotel caught ball watching it. In fact, it's coming. It's joining up with him, so Pires have got numbers back. Chance at the back post now for a second. It's an own goal. Magesi are tuned up before half-time. That comes off Sesani. But once again, they got caught at the back post, William Shongwe. That unfortunately is the case. The build-up comes from the left-hand side of the attack, and that ball being uh, swinging across the face of goal. That first side, if they've not been able to defend it that well. This time around, I'm trying to think, where was Hotto? He was there, just a little bit late in covering up. The cross came from Chirambadare. The shot inside hits Sasani. He really had no chance with that. It's uh, Kakora who delivered it. And it comes off the knee of the defender. Most unfortunate. Most unfortunately. He'll play it back. Makoa. Is that a penalty? Yes, it is. A chance for Magesi to make it three inside the first half. Pirates defense at sixes and sevens. What are we watching here this afternoon? Bismi makes it hard for me to even actually exactly from where this came from. But for me, any team that comes to play all on the parts, obviously they lift up their games naturally, but you don't expect it to happen in this fashion. Now, the question is just how much? Yes, without a doubt. Anybody at home, if you look at it from this rear mirror or camera, Sasani does catch him flat. There's no doubt about the call. He's given four minutes in the stoppage time. Chirambadare saved, the follow-up scores. 3 0 no Magesi. Unbelievable scoreline as we head to half time here at the Ola Head up for Chirambadala to find the back of net. And the other thing that maybe China does, he tends to face his own goal, which doesn't give him enough time to go to read him. Possible, William Shongwe, question mark. In football, nothing is in there. in there as well. This is a shot on goal, and the first real save from Chip Izeze comes from the young substitute, uh, for King plays it short, Lamini, and the header's over the top from Kimbudi, but the flag was up for offside against the uh, Orlando Pirates. For the return pass, can he get the shot away? Was blocked by John Mokoni. It's still in the danger zone. Mokoni again, high in the air. Chipizese will come out. Oh, he's fluffed it. Oh, they get up into the penalty area. Moffo King now, can he drag it back? He does, but the interception is there. Excellent play by Mufu King here. Creating magic in that small box. With Kakora off, and he has the ball in from uh, Ukota. 
shot in on Chipizete, who makes the save. Looks like Mzaba is going to be able to come back on. Play. Lays it back here to Tlamini. Left footed curler is wide a goal. The keeper was rooted to the ground. King again. Hotto turns. He lays it on for Tlamini, who drives it in the back of the net. They've got one back here. They've got five minutes to get another two. Orlando Pirates finally, after 85 minutes, find the back of the net. Yes, we know Jamini is a player that can strike things from the range and turn all alike. But this one was not one of those that you thought he could get, hit the beauty spot like he did here. Catches Chipizeza flat footed with the laces, full laces on the ball. It's a great strike. In comparison to those that maybe were more open. Uh, no, seven minutes left. They need two goals. Mahopa! Yes, they got one back. Now it's 3 2. And Chipizeze was looking to hold on to the ball. Wow, what a grandstand finish here in the Carling knockout. Never say never. Well, you didn't believe it was going to happen. I didn't believe it. But you know what? This is the game that we know. It can be brutal. There's Mahopa. It's, it's a no goal. Yeah, deflection. The person is Mokoni. What? Six minutes or so? Five maximum? Can it happen for the Pirates? The well, fans believe it can. They only need one to the area. Desperate defending. Mahopa takes it away. Keepers out. The penalty. No, it's a corner. It's a corner. Wasn't right. he taking Mark Lissin? They're crowding all over. Question is, though, Lissin, why did Matsumani win down untouched? And it was blocked by Matima. Mahopa. Chance here! It's the equaliser! No! The flag's up! It's offside! Offside against Sakeli Siwet! Against Orlando Pirates! There are objects being thrown onto the pitch here. Let's have a look. That is offside. Yeah, that yeah. is an excellent call from Sakeli Siwela. Initially, Mahopa could have scored had he been able to find the back of net, it would have been a goal, but uh, he's shot. Watch, that's it, Magesi have held on. They have won here against the Orlando Pirates in extraordinary circumstances.